Right, hi Jay. Hello Josh. How you doing? I, you know what, I'm actually so good. Oh, you're good, that's good. We're gas for today Jay. Is there a reason we're gas for today at all? Well, season two mate. Season two is season here. Season two. And there's, there's, there's five days left of the transfer window Jay. Have we, do you, any exciting transfers you want to talk about? Uh, for Chelsea probably not. But you know, for the back post there might be a couple exciting things. An exciting signing for the back post. Who who is it, Jay? What's what's going on? <laughs> 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 Adam, would you like to Hello. would you like to say some things about yourself? And then I'm going to introduce myself, mate. Um, oh, okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to introduce Adam. So <laughs> have you? Okay, maybe you know. Is, do you know in American films where there's you know obviously in the American film they're going to make the, the the main protagonist the sort of nerdy kid who you know fancies yeah. someone, and then in the film there's also that really cool guy. He's good at sports. He's in a band. He'll fuck your yeah. girl, but you'll still kind of like him. He fucks your girl. Um, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. this. That's this prick. That's me. <laughs> that's Hello. fucking Adam right there. That's, that's and now, and now really? we're giving him the opportunity to be a podcaster <laughs> on top of that. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I guarantee, you within half a season, uh, it'll just be, be called the Adam Post. Or that's something. it. Probably. And, I'm, oh, I'm, just be gone. My plan is to we'll eventually <laughs> just get rid of you two and just let it be a, a really biased United fan <laughs> page. But he'll oh, even great. also yeah. like. Superimpose himself twice, so he'll be himself. <laughs> <laughs> incredible time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Great. Um, Good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing now. Uh, sometimes Jay's going to be away, and sometimes I'm going to be away, and sometimes Adam's going to be away, sometimes all three of us are going to be here, sometimes all three of us are going to be away. <laughs> We're not, this isn't our fucking life. But, like, it's, you know, it just in increases flexibility, adds a person. Exactly. I look forward to it, boys. Yeah, it adds another team. Oh, lovely stuff. Should we jump straight in so, with our predictions we're then? We're going to jump straight in. Is that what we're doing first? So the new season is ahead, is upon us, and we're, yeah. we're going to start off with who do we think is going to take that top, those top six spots? Who do we think is going to get those bottom six, bottom six spots? No, <laughs> bottom three spots. Bottom six, good. Um, Relegate them all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wish uh, we could. <laughs> all right, should we start with top six? And Adam, as you are the new geezer, who, let's go with you first. Who's your top we're, six? We're doing, wait, 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 let's just work out some logistics here. We're doing one, one, oh. one, two, 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 or we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's go one, 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 right. two, two, two. Let two, me just three. adjust there because I want, I, I want you to see me Josh. as well as because at the moment you can't, can you? Have to no worries, mate. I mean, Josh ran away anyway, so... I'm shutting the window, Jay. There we go, well, that's better. <laughs> I just want to hear the lawnmower out. So, so we just do... There we go, cool. We do right, Adam, just you go one. first. Who's your number one? Well, I think yeah. the most obvious answer we put... The, the team's too strong for me. It's It's got to be City for first place for me. The, they've signed the right players, I think, and for me, there's no stopping them again. Can you just do me a favour and look into our eyes as you say that? <laughs> I want to see. At least name. I didn't say Liverpool, mate. Honestly, because <laughs> that would have killed me. Titles <laughs> in a row. Can you can you deal with that? Well, do you do you agree, Josh? I completely agree. I think that uh, football often comes in cycles. It tends to be the way that those cycles come in threes, and I reckon that next year City will not win the title, but this year will be the treble of titles. So, I've got a curveball here. I actually went for Liverpool <gasps> winning the title. Don't say Liverpool, you daft twat. I've got I can't deal with that, mate. I honestly can't. <laughs> Why? I, I, don't, I don't want them to, but genuinely think they, they might... This, they, like you said, football goes in cycles, and they've had so much bad luck within the Premier League. They've had success everywhere else, but in the Premier League, it's the only thing they want. It's the only thing they're going to be designed for this season, and I think they might just get it. 
But look, don't you think that 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 City, that City had too much for them this this last season, and City have now strengthened in all the right places, as Adam said, and Liverpool have not. They might grow, <sighs> but Milner's getting older. Henderson's <laughs> still Henderson. Uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, I know. But also, there's that aspect of City wanting the Champions League more than they want in anything else. That's fair, but so, well, the little things for me stick out, like for the fact that Sturridge is a, not a good top six player anymore. However, if you take away the Sturridge, the, the, the few Sturridge goals throughout the season, so you know they can bring that slight bit of quality in and, mm. and get that goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put, like, help them a tiny bit. They've even lost Sturridge and not replaced him. And you're just chipping away at an already second-place team, whereas City have gone, well, we've given Jesus the number nine shirt and we've bought Rodri. What the fudge you want? Nah, <laughs> that's fair. I, no, honestly, mate, I do agree with you. I really do. But I just thought, I just, I don't know. I've just, my heart says Liverpool. I don't okay. want it to. Okay. I hate okay. Liverpool, okay. but I'm just going to go for Liverpool. Bit of difference, okay. isn't it? We can't all agree all the time. Well, but since you've been talking, I've just changed my mind. Uh, I did have Liverpool finishing second, but it, no, I'm changing my mind. And and, and Josh, you're going to love this because I think Tottenham will finish second. Are we finished second? <laughs> you're not finishing first, so that, it doesn't matter. I just want to win. I want to win something. We finished second in the prepared. fucking Champions League. I think League. that you, <laughs> as well as Liverpool, you've not really fought <laughs> fantastically. However, I think you've improved your squad more than Liverpool have, personally. Not bought fantastic players? I don't He's think that's what you're saying. In Dombele. He's not saying you ain't bought him fantastic players. I've never heard of him, him before. In. I know, but he is it. I've never heard of him. What? He was like the hot... Really? You're, you're always saying that because you bought him. Really? If we'd have bought him, you'd have been like, oh, no, I've never heard of him before. No, 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 no. Like, I wanted Ndombele. <laughs> he's got you there. I wanted Ndombele all year. Like, he was, <laughs> I never he, heard he, of what, him. He's Europe's... He was Europe's hot... He's 21 and he's... Did you not watch Leon against City in the Champions League last season? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't want to watch Leon... What's going on? So, so, like, he might be good, and I agree he's good. I've seen his yeah, highlights you, on YouTube. Yeah, highlights are highlights. You, you know, that's that's right, the best yeah, of a full season. It's, it's, to me, it's bullshit, right? I, I kind of... I can't... Sorry, right. Every fucking noise that could have happened, <laughs> happened. The ice cream truck, the dog's fighting, there's a bird going that's, on. That, that's, that's your problem. <laughs> uh, right. So, can I ask you... So, do you remember Dembele? As, what was your opinion of Dembele as, as a Premier League player? Can you say that again, sorry? What was your opinion of Dembele as a Premier League player? I decided. Good. Now imagine a Dembele <laughs> end product. That's a non -blade. We'll have to see. see I, I hope he's a good player because I like to... Well, he thinks you're going to finish second. Well, well you bought a bit better than Liverpool. That's, that's my original yeah. point. So, you know, before you went off on a you're very that's biased fair, opinion. That's fair. But... <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Straight up. I, I, for me, second because of what I said previously. City a second. I think they'll focus more on the Champions League. They'll probably win the Carabao Cup as well. Their favourite cup. Um, they do and, love the Carabao. You know, <laughs> they really love the Carabao. <laughs> so, you know, they might win that. And yeah, so City second. Josh, your second Liverpool, I'm guessing. My, yeah, my second is Liverpool. I think that a similar story will happen, but instead of that one point, two point, was it one point or two point? One point. Mm. Yeah, it was one point in the end. Yeah, I reckon it'll be like five, six this season. And it won't be like that mad 90, 99, 98. It'll be like yeah, 86. Back down to earth. Would be back, my... back, to, back to normal times. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Fair um, enough. Third, then yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool. They, you know, as much as they've not bought players, they've still got a very strong squad, haven't they? And the, the front three is still very powerful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. It's really pains me to say that. My third yeah. is... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, third, my third is Spurs. Actually. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, my third's also Tottenham for very selfish match reason. I think it's... Yeah, I yeah. Think we're going we're gonna to go into the combined 11 here. And I'd, without the risk of sounding obviously biased, then um, obviously I think we're going to have some things to say about <laughs> the sports. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. I think Tottenham have not done enough to chat to hit those top two heights, but I do think we've hit enough yeah. to slightly edge the gap between you guys and Arsenal. Completely okay. agree. Okay, four, four. This is me I being know. very hopeful. This is and what's I, going to be I, interesting now. I think we'll finish fourth, I do. I think we've bought the right players. I think we could still improve on our players. We've got to see what happens you know, in the next few days, but at the moment, we're looking like a positive side, I think. Yeah, I Cool. Agree. Jay? So, so, all right. Oh, you, God. Oh my God. I already know what he's going to say. <laughs> I'm going for Chelsea, obviously. Chelsea. Let's move on. Um, but no, all right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to caveat that with what Adam just said is actually bad on. You've bought really well, I think. Uh, you, there's still Ooh. some areas that you can get rid of players you've bought really well Shut you've actually had a good sign in <laughs> no you, I've already said it's Chelsea boys it's oh, right, Chelsea yeah, no, so hear me this is why this is why so um, and I think United you know you've had a decent pre-season but I just don't I still don't think Ali's a good manager I know you're going to come up right back at me with Frank <laughs> but I just don't think Ali's good enough to be a, a, a you know a United manager, so I just that's why I think that's where I think you'll fall. That's where you fell mm. toward the end of last season. You know, like the last day game. I, I do agree with you. Dreadful. It, so I, I'll Chelsea. I'll let uh, Josh. I'll let you answer first because we'll be talking all night <laughs> about that. Fair. I am so As he sips his beer because I'm gonna sit on my little bias. It's difficult, here, and I genuinely believe that the best of the rest is in United, Chelsea, and Arsenal. I genuinely think, and this is so weird as a Tottenham fan, where I, you know, used to like being so thankful for a Europa League qualifier. Um, I think you're all <laughs> dreadful. Like you're all terrible. Yeah. Like my list yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, and I'm not showing you the list. I'm showing the camera the list. Yeah, is, yeah. There's so many just crosses out. So I originally had Chelsea, and then I've. <laughs> I'm so confused because I've gone for United. Ooh. Yet I am. Utterly convinced that Solskjaer will be sacked this season. So I think <laughs> that you'll be hovering around seventh, Solskjaer <laughs> will be sacked, and then you'll go on a run. That's what I'm picturing. That seems that seems so <laughs> feasible, <Probably. doesn't> it? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking because because I just I'm, I'm sorry, I don't see Chelsea being good enough. But then again I I, I don't see Tammy Hayden I can't can't put Tammy Abraham firing and Giroud firing you into the top four. And then, I, but then again, I'm looking at you and going, right, I'm going to talk yeah. about. But Lukaku's currently training at Anderlecht. Is Rashford supposed to fire you guys into the top four? I don't know. Or what are Arsenal doing? Arsenal might. You know what? Actually, this absolutely pains me to say. He's right. In now. my original one, I don't even have Arsenal in the top six. But I've just convinced myself that on firepower alone, Arsenal are going to finish in the top four and finally break their. Curse. I think that's what's going to happen. Oh, f disgusting. Disgusting. I know it's horrible of me to say, but I just, based on firepower alone, Tammy Abraham Giroud, bloody Rashford and Lingard. And yeah, but Tammy Martial Abraham and Giroud like... can score past their defence. Easy. You don't know and so will the rest Tammy, of the Prem. You do not know what Tammy Abraham can do in the Premier League yet. You don't. Uh, yeah, no. Do you know, know what Ndombele can do in the Premier League yet? Yeah. Lacazette and I mean, you don't know what Ndombele can do in the Premier League yet. So where's Adam so, gone? I'm, a, I'm a, Sorry, <laughs> I am still here. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm right. I, this is horrible for me, but I've, I've just weirdly convinced myself it's Arsenal. And if, if my no. gut's saying that, then my gut's saying that. And just wait one second so, and no one say anything because I'm just going to adjust my camera because it's slipping slightly. Right. <laughs> so, from what you said, I I had Chelsea uh, fourth. I had United just below that because I still think United have a better squad than Arsenal. Ongoing what you just said about Arsenal, I, I think they drop out of the top six this season. I think, don't get me wrong, they've got good firepower, but they've not got a great 
squad. They don't have any defence. Why have I just better. put them fourth? Everton have they got better. They don't have a defence and I've put them fourth. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. They don't have a defence. Well, defense. I had them fifth don't. and I'm sort of it's changing gone. my mind oh. now. <laughs> Mate, I, don't know what. I think I don't Wolves know. and Everton are better than them. I'm changing it again. I genuinely think Wolves and Sorry, Everton are better. I'm going with United. <laughs> United have bought Harry Maguire, and Harry Maguire is going to fire them into the top four. <laughs> I don't know. God sake. Oh. So, so fifth. In, in sixth place, I either had Wolves or Everton. I couldn't pick between the two of them. I think they're both really good. I think it? Everton, they've bought well, but they haven't got the squad depth to finish top six at all. The f- they bought well in Delph and go- uh, signing Gomez, but for me, it's such a big loss is losing Adrisa Garnagay or how gay how do you say it? that is such a big loss mm. yeah yeah he is so he was but they have got Keane in as well they've needed they've needed a striker oh, for Keane. sorry I thought you meant Michael Keane they've needed a striker for a good few years I think <laughs> I was like <laughs> uh, and, and, and I, I, I like the yeah, look of this guy to be fair. I watched him at Juventus a couple of times yeah but decent. again I don't he, think uh, the thing is what, the, he is a great signing, but that is also everything that's wrong with clubs like Juventus. Like to spunk all this money on Ronaldo yeah. and getting, and then but just I don't know how do you lose that one player that can have the connection with the fans and be world class and mm. brilliant? How do you let how do you let him go? Like that would be like United. Yeah, and agree, I, I admittedly exactly. United could lose him now because fans are a bit skeptical about him. But imagine if that first breakthrough season Rashford have United win. Mm. On you go. Oh, can you imagine that the outrage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fair, fair. So who I have Chelsea, sit down? I think. And that's me being very kind to you, Jay. Um, you know... No, no Jay. Adam, it, please, Your man. boss is hard. You're not going to replace him. William's not good enough. He's took the number 10. He's not good enough at all. It was Pulisic that's the replacement, and that's he's, well, he's, he got kicked yeah. out of Dortmund by Sancho. Mm. So where, where do we go from there? I think Lampard, like Ole, Listen, is inexperienced. I... I think they will both struggle this season. I, yeah, I admit definitely. that, but I think we've got a much better squad than you. Definitely. Much, Our squad is minus not Hazard exactly last season. Normal. Our squad last season finished third above Spurs, who had a arguably had a better season above United, but above Arsenal. The only person who had really I, lost a majorness is Hazard. The key stat is Hazard was like what was it like forty percent of the goals? No, I know. For, like either like, yeah, thirty forty percent now. Like that's the thing. so right. Yeah, exactly. Like, middle, I, oh, <laughs> right. Well, this is going to be interesting. We talk about the team because this is where we really put the team to to get to. The, so I actually have just a shamble and this entire segment that we're doing doesn't matter because I don't fucking know. So I That's the, that's, not, gonna... that's the question. No one can predict the Premier League. What? What are you saying there's some sort of script of the season <laughs> that, that, that we should discard with the Oh fuck. With the sh- with the sh- We're not sponsored, lads. We're not sponsored. We shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be doing that. We can't. Sorry, I'm... we would be if we were sponsored. Yeah, I mean, if we were, he's if lost he his paper. He's money, lost his paper. I will happily do that bullshit script of the season, but I hate that so much. <laughs> yeah. You see it, Adam, all the adverts of them ripping up the script. Yeah, no, of the I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed oh, it. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. That's horrible. <laughs> of course he liked it. Of course it's he liked horrible. it. Horrible. Deli Ali, they're like, I've, who was it? I, like, Peter Crouch was like, I've just been given the script of the season. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Right. So, All right, should, let's, should we move on? Well, no, no. Should we move Sorry, away from the top where six? Where we settle? I don't know what I've said. <laughs> you, you don't know. I think I've gone <laughs> right, City, so. Liverpool, Tottenham, United, Chelsea, Everton, but then I made a, such a massive case for Arsenal. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For me, it's Liverpool, City, Spurs, Chelsea, United, and then. Everton. I think yeah, Wolves could do it if they didn't have Europa League, but that's going to push them back to ten. I think there's too yeah, big of a difference gonna, yeah, between yeah, yeah. the yeah, 100%. Uh, you know the proper top six and the likes of Everton and, and Wolves. I think there's too much of a difference between them for them to get anywhere near it. I don't know, you know. But then Leicester as well, who apparently refused to uh, sign Nathan Ake for seventy five million. So what's the point <laughs> of anymore? I don't. <laughs> Why yeah. is Ake worth seventy five? 
What is life? Man? Right, what is okay. Life? Who's getting relegated? What's happening there? Bottom three. Uh, I'll I, go. I'll uh, start this say, one. I don't uh, actually I have say, an I, order. I haven't done this in order. Yeah, either. mine's not in order. This is just three yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're all on the same page, boys. I haven't got it in order. Uh, I'll go first with Newcastle. Uh, yeah, I agree. We might all agree on that. Yeah, there they're a reason? shambles. We Is all there know any it. Reason, it. Like that you can pinpoint like a name, maybe just. Two. So, <laughs> lose, losing Rafa. No, yeah, no, okay. losing Rafa's bad, but what's worse than losing Rafa, Jeff? Kane, Steve, Bruce, <laughs> Having Mike Ashley. There we go. He's, he's, there it is. Steve. Bruce, we, Steve honestly, Bruce. we could talk about the actual logistical reasons of Newcastle's relegation, or we could just say Steve Bruce. And move on. Steve Bruce. <laughs> I like that, but like just Steve Bruce. But did you see what Sam Allardyce turned that job Lacey. offer down? It's, it's well, he's Sam been there Allardyce. before. Never go back. Clever man, Sam. True. Clever Big man. Sam. Big Sam. Like you, Big Sam. Anyway, mm-hmm. so we all agree on Newcastle. I've also gone for Brighton. I haven't. I okay. they were I next on my list. No, I haven't. I haven't. They, yeah, I'm. I'm venturing for Brighton round mm. uh, 16th. But why Brighton, Jay? So I thought you know last season they were hanging on quite a little bit. They did finish just outside the relegation zone. They've they're not proved too much and they've just lost the manager who's been doing really you know he, he got them there in the first place he had a connection with them and they lost him that's why I put them down there I do love Heaton but fair uh, he's a good uh, it's man. a really good shout actually he just missed out on mine because I have two valid reasons for the other one I feel but I'm going to use a comparison sort of. so my other one fair enough. I'll say right now is I cannot see anything but Sheffield United absolutely mirroring the season <laughs> Cardiff had. I've got Sheffield as Lucky well. Lucky little underdogs with players that aren't good enough. They're just like, they're exactly the same as Cardiff, I feel. The, obviously, they've got a better manager than Neil Warren. <laughs> that's like me saying, you know, I have a, you know, oh, I can't think of an analogy, I'm too tired. But so, <laughs> for me, just they're not, the squad's not good enough and they haven't bought well there's it, it, inexperience in there. I there's, agree with that one. I had that they've one. They've not been in for how yeah. many years now? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> too long, mate. I mean, if they stay there long enough, Kyle Walker has said he'd like to go back north of <laughs> So if they stick around for a few seasons, they could sign Kyle Walker and <laughs> Kyle Norton could go back as well, but maybe not. Uh, <laughs> the return of the Kyles, great, cool. No, I had them in as well. Okay, so we both so Sheffield and Newcastle is what we've all said. So then we'll obviously differ on the definitely third one, in. Yeah, that's me and Adam don't. Adam I have gone for Norwich. Ooh, I I disagree. So we've all gone for one different, and I think we're going to have to come to an agreement. I together. think. And so that's all right. No, no, no. So okay. let's no, no. Let's stop a minute. Here you have. Let's argue each of our points. So you're going to argue for mm-hmm. Norwich. Jay's going to argue for Brighton. It kind of, I know you already have. And I'm going to argue for Aston Villa. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The next Fulham. That's exactly my argument, but continue. I think my <laughs> point of Norwich going <laughs> down is the same as Sheffield. I think the inexperience of not being in the Premier League for the past few years will pay its toll. I think Villa have... A mile stronger squad than both Sheffield and Norwich any day. They would never even have thought of me for going back down. I don't know why. I agree with you there, mate. Like, as much as they are the next Fulham with spending over a hundred million, I think I just think they are a bit dead. They they could, it could prove us wrong, but I did like I didn't even think about them either. I think they'll do well. I think they're. They're gonna. They're trying to do what Wolves have mm. done. I think they're trying to do it a bit more quickly, but I think they are gonna stay up. So my issue is like the so, like the entire problem with Fulham is that this core brought them up, and then they signed all these players and rebuild the squad around them, and then the, the, you disrupt the entire football club, and then you try and bring them back in, but they're not good enough. This is a club that they've um, they've signed. I think it's something like eleven players, or maybe more. 12, I think. The only thing... I think it's so 12. here's the thing. The only, the, 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 there's caveats here for everything. Norwich stay up if Timo Pucky can do it in the Premier League. Villa stay up for one reason and one reason alone, and that is Tom Heaton. 
if they hadn't signed Tom Heaton, they're dead <laughs> set on going down. Tom Heaton is brilliant, but this is a club that's pinning their hopes on Tyrone Mings at left back. I, like as a as some yeah. sort of messiah, Stampy McStamp coming to like what what do you? I don't. I just think that it's exactly what Fulham did, and they've got this core of players that they're just going to piss off until the club. Yeah, and and yeah, that's exactly what you. That's a val- very valid answer because that's exactly the reason we follow, man. I th- I think Norwich are going to do quite well. I like Norwich. They, they, oh, I don't know. I just they haven't got that great of the squad, have they? Like when you put squad mm-hmm. for squad, Villa stay in. But when you go for like that kind of like mentality of not having your core well, players, like Norwich, start, I'm guessing yeah, they haven't. The start of last season, man for man, put Fulham's. Squad against um, Brighton's or um, I don't know else did. Oh, Bayern. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but to be fair, I'm actually happy with Brighton. I kind of forgot about Brighton. I think Brighton. I do really think Brighton. Um, of course, that's that was my choice. <laughs> I think they've been hanging on for a bit too long now, and it's time for them to go. I don't know. I don't Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still trying to adjust Sorry. myself here. Sorry. This, <laughs> phone camera is like everywhere. Sorry, mate. Like, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, it's just, 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 yeah, I believe we should end part one. It's been going for a while now. Part one. Um, Welcome back to part two. Right, so uh, you may remember in the last... Well, you might not, because there's like four of you that watch this. But um, you may remember there was, like, there was a combined I'm one of them. All four of you. Yes. We did. Um... Chelsea and Chelsea and Tottenham and we thought what would be nice is now that we've got Mr United Adam here um, which is not like an official Twitter handle or anything uh, <laughs> it should be it's just that um, <laughs> we thought we'd, we'd, we'd try this 11 again with even more option with United involved um, would you want to go through it position by position um, is that mm-hmm. yeah I think that's it? best isn't it well I'll start things mm-hmm. off because I think uh, we'll all be in agreement here won't we uh, for the keeper yeah <laughs> I hope we are anyway. Go it's got to be the gear, hasn't it? Oh, I put Gazik Niger. Right. I'll... <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah, no, um... <laughs> We've lost him. It was a fun part one, but you know. <laughs> <He's not. laughs> um, Sorry, boys. Uh, shaky, shaky start to last season, but you can't overlook yeah. him as a goalkeeper. Kepa doesn't deserve to be a footballer, so he's out. <laughs> and as much as I love Larice, just for the final thing, nothing based on just for still refusing to come off, I will never forgive him. Um, oh, no. I know. I don't blame him. As much as I absolutely love Larice and don't understand how Tottenham have kept him for about seven years now, obviously he is prone. Hold to on, hold on, hold on. Fucking <laughs> stupid dog next door, man. Honestly, that it'll be like one a.m. and that dog will fucking bark. <laughs> All right, sorry. Carry on. Well, long story short, to here. Yeah. Jay. You what? Long story short, to here. Mhm. here. Yeah, that... I agree. Who's in mine? Yeah, no point arguing. I love Larice though. Can we just caveat that I love Larice? You know what? I, I, no, I've got a lot of respect for Larice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like out of the Kepa's definitely the the the. Pre- <laughs> three, yeah. Okay, excellent. I agree. Right back. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this one. Uh, I think because where we play him, we play as Plaquetta oh. right back, oh. and I think he's class. He would have he's been class. my first choice, but now that Wambasaka is in the squad, he's, he's got to be yeah, the spider for me. Although I do like Aspilicueta, oh, I'd, I'd second oh, United any day. 
I like I love Aston Villa as a as a player, not as a Chelsea player. And um, I, if, if he was in, if, if if this was a back three and he was the right side of the back three every single day of the week, mm-hmm. after the first name on our team sheet, he doesn't really fit it right back. I don't think, although he has performed well there, and also he's not. He, uh, so I'm sorry. I think you. honestly he's been playing great. He's been playing great. He gets forward, which I didn't expect him to do, but he's also so solid mm. at the back. I think he's, I think he's wicked. I do right he, back. He's, he's obviously great, but for this particular style level, I'm not interested in being solid. I'm tr- interested in being excited, and that's why you're going to be outvoted, and Aaron Wan Bissaka gets it for me. Obviously, oh. only because <laughs> Tottenham <laughs> sold Trippier. Only because Tottenham's gone there. All right. Of course. You can't be lucky, star. <laughs> God, Madrid, man. Right. Atletico Madrid are winning because of that man. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like um, we're going to have some debate I can't believe here. I've been outvoted. I feel like we're going to have can't believe I've been outvoted. a big argument here. Go on. Because mm. for me, there is still no better partnership, apart from maybe cities in the Premier League, than Alderweireld and Vertonghen. I'm going for both centre-backs. Yeah, but we're not going off, we're not going off partnerships, are we? We're going off. Individual players. Vertonghen is... I've... And I've gone for the Tongan. Better than any of the centre backs at your clubs, especially you, sorry, Adam. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I'll accept it. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go. No, Phil Jones is way ones. better. <laughs> no, the Tongan. You've obviously gone for the Tongan and Rudiger. Yeah? No, mate, I've, I've gone for the Tongan and Maguire. That's who I've gone for as well. I'm being outvoted. You, you're actually. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. I'll admit that I'm willing to. Act. If I'm outvoted, Come on, Jay. I can't do anything. If I'm He's outvoted, slowly on his way I out. You know what? You're picking no, right. it... Maguire over Alderweireld. You picked no, Aaron no, Bissaka over Alderweireld. Both Aguera. of you. Both of you say it out loud. If we're going. Alderweireld and. Um... How many months was he out for last season? If we're going off that, if we're going off an overall player, Maguire had one of his best seasons ever. Maguire, oh sorry, sorry, not not everyone can drive Leicester to eighth or whatever they finish. Like, what do you want? You've got to think of the World Cup as well. I know it, you know, it went too long ago, but not everyone can score against Sweden. Right, just (laughs) as long as both of you can categorically say to me right now. Al Maguire is a better player than Alderweireld. I will let you outvote me because I can't fight this. But you have to both say it. <laughs> it's tough, you know. It's tough to say, you know, because Alderweireld is really good. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, you know what's going to change my mind, right? United wanted Alderweireld before they wanted Maguire. Yeah, I'll accept that. I suppose. There you go. But You're that that's Josh. nothing. Like, that's... You know, you, even though you'd picked. Fucking Basaka over Azpilicueta. That's just that. Do I win? Have I, have, I, have I somehow clawed that back from the brink and got out of the room? I mean, the I helped you out. I helped you out. Mm. <laughs> I'm staying quiet on this one. Mm. All right, right back. Here's a ca- here's the thing we can talk about actually, maybe quickly, because I could give you it. Left back. Because for me, the best left back is Rose. However, all of them have been like United again. You've got what Shaw, or Young. You've got. <laughs> Emerson or a murderer. <laughs> so how about we have Maguire and we put Vertonghen at left back where he excelled in the Champions League? Oh, what, we have three at the back? No, no, no. Vertonghen played left back a few times last season and they yeah. excelled. Oh. You know what? So I'd, I'd, to give you yeah, Maguire, why not? Fuck it. Yeah. Unless you yeah. have a left back that's... No, I'd be down for doing that yeah. because in left back for me is the murderer, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, no, well, we can't, we can't so <laughs> not even because, not even because of that, but he did lose his place to Emerson. At the mm. end of the season. He did. So and Emerson's quite good actually, but he's nowhere near Vatonga. None of that. Okay, so Basaka, Alderweireld, Maguire, Vatonga. No Chelsea. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> well, I mean, Jake, yeah, no, if you'd made an argument for Rudiger at any point, you might have convinced us, but this is your own fault. Rudiger is a good player. He's a great player. I actually kind of forgot about him. <laughs> okay, so I have a two man. What's, who's your first midfielder? Kante. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Every, every day. Um, like, it's more effective incredible. if you don't Love say why. Really. Everyone knows. If you're watching this, you know why. Um. <laughs> That's what, I have a that's partner why. for Kante, and I know it's not really his position, but it's. Oh, I'd get my squad fair, so 
I've gone for Pogba next to Kante. I I have, well. I, I've okay. gone for Pogba, but I've also gone for three in the middle. I kind of have three in the middle. Oh, okay. like it's, it mine's like, can either be a 4-2-3-1 yeah, or a 4-3-3. Three, three. Mm. Like, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, same. Okay. Who's the third, then? So, uh, for me, the, he's got a, Eric, Ericsson's got to go centre attack in mid for me. If, uh, see, if, I, if we're not, going for the okay, two holding, Ericsson sits right in front of them for me. Yeah, that's exactly the same for me. I've kind of shoved Ericsson out on the left, as Tottenham often do. Um, but it's, I guess it's kind nah, of Nah, he's in the middle. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll sort of mould this in hindsight. So yep. my other midfielder was was the one that I have slight not doubts but is is, is Loftus Cheek. He's not proven enough He's yet. Incredible. He scored a lot of goals yeah. last season he, for a young player. He scored a he's, he scored a good amount. He had a good me, amount of time. He he breached his way into the team. Sarri didn't even want him there, but he was playing brilliantly. But are you only putting him there because there's no one else to put there? No, I would put Ali no. over him. I just didn't want to see him bias. <laughs> <laughs> Ali's, a, Ali's a more established player than Loftus Cheek all day long, so. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, he is. But then if we're talking, so I'm willing to drop them both and put Ericsson there, and then I, I will give what if there's a winger that I can't think of, then that's fine. So we'll say, yeah, can't take I think that's Ericsson, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the so, middle, cool, 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 who and is, then who I think I'm gonna go wingers? say that the next. Well, the, the the obvious one's Son. Mm-hmm. Easy. Yeah. Obvious. Yeah. Um, and then the one that you're going to completely disagree oh, with you straight away is Pedro. Pedro you, for God's sake. Well, I did, I've not thought of the it, second wing guy. I, I genuinely couldn't think of any. I, I would have probably put Ali there, but then the front three would just be Tottenham players and that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, honestly, Pedro's good, man. He's good, but he's he, he is. He, but obviously, he's Pedro. Old, yeah. Pedro, a few years ago, yes, but I don't think he's. Who else though? Who else? Um, I, I kind of would put Ali in the middle and Eriksson on the left. I, I, I think. Pull up, we can't say Pulisic because he's not proven enough. Same no, reason yeah, why Dombele didn't proven. make it into this conversation. Uh, we can't. Yeah, no. Um, United have a, you want to say Martial with all your heart every time, but he just hasn't. Done yeah, it. just doesn't do it. I I want yeah, Martial. I think, yeah, Pedro's to, like Rashford can play there, but no. Um, I think you know talking you know, actually, straight I, up talking I, wingers. Can I Pedro throw something out there as 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 a thing, and you know what? If, if you're both on a shoot me down, shoot me down. Because I did think about it, but I decided to leave him out because you forget about him so much. Lucas more had right? such a good season last yeah. season. He scored. I, I thought of. The, I think thought of the of Ajax, Ajax, the Ajax hat trick. Think of the brace at Old Trafford. Mm. He he oh, he he's had an excellent preseason. He and you forget that when PSG bought Lucas, he was the wonder kid of Europe. I forgot that until it got mentioned about I, three yeah. years ago. Like. But then again, you know, if you, you I think you've sold game it game to game. me there I, personally. I'd put Lucas there because I couldn't think of one. He outplays Ali every time for me, Lucas. He's, he does, doesn't he? I mean, although, admittedly to Ali, Ali assists him for both of the goals bar one in the Ajax game. Ali does but do does, things that you don't realise. Mm. Does Poch, Poch doesn't play more that much, though, does he? <laughs> no, he doesn't. And... He didn't make I it think, to the final. Well, yeah, even though he got them there, it's one of those things that will go down in sort of Tottenham. What ifs is if you know. Personally, I'm not gonna. Yeah, um, yeah. Personally, I would have played Lucas in the final, but obviously, I'm not gonna question yeah. Poch on tactics because he's Pochettino and I'm a uh, ex uni student working <laughs> in a vegetarian cafe, drinking beer on a Monday night, doing a podcast. So you know. <laughs> 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 yes, okay. Oh, no, but Pot should be worried. So but you're I, coming my, for his my job, actual but... vote now that I've realised how little options we have is Lucas. I'd agree, I'd put him there. 
I'm being outvoted then, aren't I? I'd still say Pedro, but I'm being outvoted. And what's beautiful right now is Stryker There's only one man up front. Sit down. <laughs> sit down, boys. It's 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 so obviously Tammy Abraham. <laughs> Tammy Abraham. The rest of them. I'm glad we've all agreed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Congratulations. It's Kane. We don't need yeah. to talk about it any longer. Yeah, it's yeah. Kane. And Although, I'm, well, I, I'm, not, I'm not going to talk about why, but from what I've seen in pre season, if he can avoid injury, okay. which is a massive if, this is going to be Kane's going to bang this season, season for Harry Kane. There's a, there's Kane's going to bang this season. And I'll pop it here. There is a sexy picture <laughs> of Harry Kane in like an official <laughs> tank top in, the, like, in like the rain. And I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> if I was, if, if I turned up for Bless FC and he was next to me, I'd be like, I'm going to die today. <laughs> like, <laughs> then again, an he's going to bang like this season. This no joke. Harry would probably smash Bless FC. <laughs> well, don't you dare take the mick out of Bless FC. All right, so, so, uh, so, so to summarise, De Gea, yeah. mm-hmm. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, yep. Alderweireld, Maguire. Vertonghen, Kante, Pogba, Eriksson, Son, Lucas, Kane. I can't believe Kante is the only one in there. Fucking sorry, the Chelsea player. I tried with Loftus, Jay. I tried to do things for you, but then you, again, you shot. You're a smug bastard, aren't you, Josh? No. I can, I can just see you there sipping your beer, not saying a word. I know, any. <laughs> right, God's sake. All right, cool. Hopefully by the end of the season, Loftus Cheek, Tammy Abrahams both win the fucking golden boot, and you both won. <laughs> so I don't know if you know this actually, Adam, but we'll finish this quickly just by saying um, this segment by saying um, so. Me and Jay had such a massive argument. He got really angry that I wanted Ali, and I basically <laughs> battered him down with stats about why Ali should be in to the point where he couldn't deny it. And then he put William yeah. over Son. And because I let Ali go in, I was like, yeah, whatever, fine, have, have William. And then obviously Son had the season he had. And Jay was just like, oh, no, we have to change it. We have to change the 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just so... Slowly... I, mean, I think you said, like, you said, you was like, oh, do you think we should maybe change Son <laughs> and William? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. How, um, how could I even think of a way? Yeah. Right, God's so... God's sake. What, we, what we, a great part for us Chelsea fans. <laughs> stop at part two at the, at the moment um, and it, part three was always where we we, we gave up and just started chatting <laughs> some shit but, playing know, games and stuff it was always quite fun so today uh, so we're going to talk about the games we've got coming up as as, as us three and we're going to talk about some part nonsense news at the end oh that's a good segment park nonsense yeah. news um, and I don't know how we should do this like in the same way that you always have the third place playoff before the final I'll start because yours is the bigger one. Yeah. Um, so Tottenham. Yeah, that's fair. Go ahead, take the reins. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna revisit an old famous back post phrase right now. Um, Tottenham are playing Aston Villa <laughs> at home. So Jay, this is a game that we should probably win. However, we might not. <laughs> because that's how football works. <laughs> Who knows? We said that, Adam. We, we must have said that so many times in season one, and like it just became a joke. <laughs> but so, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's a, a big show. The, the, the added bonus, I'd say, is that Tottenham have a gelled squad with one player added, even if that's the one good thing that comes if we don't get any more signings. Although we are hoping for the sell, so maybe Bruno Fernandes, if we can fight Adam off for it. But. <laughs> Yeah, but so, but I, I can't imagine Villa having a, especially on the first day of the season. How is that Villa squad going to be settled? That was I don't see how that can be a thing. I like, and it's uh, it's is that at your ground as well? Yeah, yeah, it's at the Tottenham Stadium where you know we have a pretty good home record across all of like the final season of White Hart Lane to even we made Wembley a semi fortress after our struggles at the start. Like and I yeah. don't see anything about Tottenham win, but let's <laughs> see me be proved wrong. And I, honestly, <laughs> I have nothing more to say about it. To be honest, I can imagine Kane. Kane used to like playing against Aston Villa, so I can imagine making Kane a captain yeah. for your fantasy leagues would be a good thing to do. Mm. So I'm going to be quiet now. All right, and... cool. <laughs> well, b- before before you go, what 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 score are you saying? 
Okay. Um, That's a big, big shout. I almost, I reckon a nice pre-season three-one, maybe. That's fair. Cool. Moving on, Adam. So it's fun that we got Adam in for today's episode, or <laughs> the back post, shall I say, because. Chelsea versus United, first game of the season at Old Trafford. It's a big one. I already know we disagree because we've already briefly yeah. mentioned it. It's a massive game. But it's, it's funny that, Jay, because you've just mentioned you're nervous. And I love it because it's got a United win written all over it, and it? No, it, <laughs> it has a draw written all over it. It doesn't have a United win written all over it. For deluded fans like me, <laughs> it does. But for, for the fucking... For the real people of the world, it has a 2 2 written all over it. We're both average. We've both, you know, got managers that don't know what they're really doing. Like, as much as I love Frank, he's, he's mm. not a Premier League manager yet. Um, I just, it's a 2 2 for me. Honestly, I'm nervous for it. I want to win, obviously. Um, could, but I don't know where we're at. Pre season was so up and down. We won some, but we we beat Barcelona, but then lost the yeah. game to Yokohama. <laughs> so, like. See, I think you look at our pre season. Honestly. Go on, go on, Josh. So, can I just smugly interject? I know we've, we've, we've left this behind in part two, but um, just because I want to be a dick, can I assume that as well as this Tottenham heavy squad that we decided upon, <laughs> the manager would also possibly maybe be Pochettino? Yeah, Wait, but. <laughs> what, what do you expect us to go, no, it's fucking front <laughs> round I just wanted to throw that out there, you guys continue. He's, He's such a twat. Dick. Right, right, Josh, is <laughs> me and Adam, back post. <laughs> but no, podcast, going back Josh to, Adam. if we talk about pre-season, I think you can't look at United's fixtures and, you know, we won all our games last, last pre-season, didn't we? And, and look where we finished. I think... Yeah. It depends. I don't think we're going to sign anyone else before Thursday. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, ain't you signing Mandzukic though? Is that is that? Have you thing? seen the or amount of players that we sure. were supposedly wanting to buy? Imagine what Manchester yeah, Airport would be so like. I was working with uh, Full Time Devils, and I got a I got a rumored starting eleven. You'd be so sick oh, if everyone you were rumored to. Well, that's that's our problem. Everyone through. in the world gets linked to us. It and it, it, it it's, this past <laughs> this past week has pissed me off so much. I've just stopped reading into it. So we're even. <laughs> yeah, you got it. hundred percent think that Mandzukic will be a thing. Uh, I hope he is. I think he's a quality striker. A good signing. Mm. Be a brilliant signing. I think. But I it's think. Kind of funny because he's honestly, like, he's like, Dybala. like not as in like dabala has gone, <laughs> and you've gone. Oh, how about Mandzukic? And they've gone. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, it's, if he says no, you'll probably get Spitty McSpit Costa himself. But I'd, I'd take him. Yeah, fair. Top player. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so, yeah, to to finish, I guess, I genuinely can't see past the 2 2. I don't think either of <laughs> us are better than the other at this stage of the thing. You are. Throw in. You can't see past the 2 2. <laughs> can't. So, if, if it's 2 2, you at that point you're like, there will be no more goals in this goal ridden game. Like, <laughs> I cannot see past We're... it. <laughs> Chelsea are just dominant, and I'm like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. For no. me, it's... They've hit the post four times. Oh, you. <laughs> two, two, red <laughs> No. Okay, I, see, I just genuinely just see a draw. Would you take a draw? Ah, it depends, isn't it? <laughs> I would, I, 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 if we're getting hammered, I'd take a draw, but if we're doing fucking great, of course not. Well, that's you know, a, that it's all depends dependent, isn't it, this first game? Like, you, this is where we... Yeah. We know where, to, uh, I'm not trying to bring it back to Tottenham, but we know where Tottenham are, like in terms of the squad and the manager and whatnot. He does this, no, I no, think. no, no, but with both of you two, that they're such new concepts. Like, mm, this is you know, yeah, I, I, I get guys, that. The, with you guys, this is, I mean, obviously, the squad's pretty the same because of the transfer ban with bringing people back, and you know what Lampard's like at Derby. And obviously, we've had Solskjaer last season, but this is the point where. And I put this in inverted commas because I don't believe he'll do it. This is where you get Solskjaer's own imprint on the squad rather than a squad being given to Solskjaer that he has to do things with. This mm. is his first yeah. season of his own squad. So this is... The... Mate, it's... It's so exciting. It really is. Like, just... Just... 
we don't it, it is very unknown what's to happen especially if everything's happened like you just said so I'm like I said earlier I'm nervous but I'm so yeah. excited for the new season start and this is such a good game to oh, start I think, I think this Big, game will, game will week, show yeah. a lot of character about both clubs I think whatever the score is it will play a massive factor for the rest of the season personally yeah, Let's take, let's take your scores. 2-0 United. 2-0. Just because he's saying that. Just because he's saying no, that, I'm no, just no, going no, no. to say 3-2 Chelsea. You don't Chelsea. get asked. You shut up. You've already said you cannot say <laughs> past a 2-2. So you shut your mouth. That's your answer. I think morale's got a big part to play in it. I think even though we had a dog shit end to last season, I think... The squad look happy together. I think Pogba's settling back into the squad. And Chelsea are all over the place for me. It's just not going to end well for them. Um, so it's 2-0 all over it and it's a Mandzukic brace. One. Three. Two. Two. This is so sad. What? I, I've been three, saying one. Three. <laughs> one. Think, three. Two. I think we got... <laughs> I think we got most of the yeah. the conversation with those two, which kind of leaves the deciding vote yeah. to me, which is really difficult. So Jay, I'm sorry, I'm I'm taking your I cannot see okay, cool, cool. two two in stone. <laughs> two two. I don't care if you're two, trying two. to change it. Fuck you. That's what you said. Adam two nil. I think. I think it will also be a draw, but I, I'm. You know what I. I can see 2-2. Two, two. I don't think your defences have worked well enough. You know what? Actually, just because I think Ooh. that Maguire is a good signing, I'll say 2-1 to United. One of the goals that you think are going to go in, maybe okay. I think won't, but who knows. Oh. That's what I'll say. <laughs> God's sake. The big slab of players off United. the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slab um, so we're going to end soon. <laughs> <laughs> However, so we're going to end soon. However, just before we do, um, I'm going to just run through some... And I'm not really... Uh, I'm, I'm going to change how I do this because I, I used to tell you a lot about it, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give <laughs> oh, you the fine. headlines without that's context fine. and get your reactions because mm -hmm. that's funnier. So, headline one, guys, <laughs> is Leicester will not sign £75 million pound Ake, <laughs> which I, I briefly touched on. Good. They well shouldn't, done, Lester. They shouldn't sign start. 75 million pound, okay? No one. No one Ball should Murphy, sign 75 million pound. That's, that's million fantastic, million. isn't it? Okay. <laughs> 75 mil. <laughs> it's like, it, it's, it's that yeah. guy that's trying to sell you a car. And the, the, you know, Boom. I'll give you four grand for it. I want 15,000, 100. But I was like, no, no. <laughs> that's not... Um, so, yeah, there's not... Um, Secondly, City couldn't afford Maguire. Yeah. A, bollocks. <laughs> yes, they could. B, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what world are we living in where one of the biggest <laughs> football clubs in Europe can't afford Maguire? How, is that ha how have we allowed that to happen? <laughs> I'm not saying Maguire's a bad player, but all I'm saying is, technically... Every single club in the top half yeah, of the definitely. league should yeah, I don't know what's happened there. Mm. <laughs> He's not that <laughs> good. Right. I don't know if you know about this, guys, but Lukaku I saw the is photo, currently oh, yeah. training, I... training with Anderlecht. That is a thing that's happening. Yeah, I've seen this about, and <laughs> honestly, I, I do not know what to think of it. it I don't know if that says anything. Yes. Does that say something about United as a club? Or well, what do you think? He trains with you till he goes. I mean, let's not think that the, one of the biggest football travesties of this season, or maybe even actually ever, like genuinely, is Real Madrid's treatment of Bale. And I'm, I know he mm. hasn't quite integrated himself into culture. However, he's won. He's scored yeah. the winners in two Champions Leagues and a Copa del Rey. Show that man yeah. some respect. And has won four. Yeah, yeah. I think is it four four. Madrid, like yeah, he, yeah. he is training. Like what? Yeah. Mm. Like, and Lukaku's not a bad player. I know he ha he's not the quality of United, and it's probably the right time for him to move on. But he's not a bad striker. 
I think he's, you got to look at his goals in the Premier League. It, it, it says everything you need to know, doesn't it? Really? Have I left think he's just, he would be a legend. Mm, I think I think probably now I look back at it, the better yeah. move would have been Chelsea. Absolutely. The, Back the, in the, the day, but obviously when we signed, I was buzzing. Mm. But no, like you said, it's time for him to go. I think, but Where's God he knows what's Where happening. Where is he going there. now? Because it seems to have fallen through to Juventus, it, Inter Milan have also seemed to. The, in, in an ideal world for me, a Cardi goes to Juventus because Inter Milan are sick of him, <coughs> and Ju, Juventus <laughs> don't mind questionable accusations. You know, the alleged the alleged rapist could cross into the. The, the, yeah. the, the, the Akadi and it's all fine. <laughs> oh god, this is why we're never going to get anywhere with this podcast because I, because I say things like that. But and then into by Lukaku and then you know yeah, that, you'd that get Manzukic and that's the triangle. Well, that's what happens. That's a, a, the same with a lot of transfers. It, it, it takes it's a domino effect, isn't it? Yeah, it takes yeah. someone to leave for everything else to sort of happen. I, ideally, that's what. I would prefer, I would like Mandzukic, but I don't think he'll leave until they replace him. So. Okay, right, so that's that done. Uh, so I've got three more of these. Um, the first the first one of that is quite simple. Uh, oh, how do you all feel about Mignolet moving the to Cliff Bruges? <laughs> 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 yeah, you know. cool, cool. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, so the only one I want to point, what, what point I want to make about this is brief. Is I'm a bit concerned that West Ham have not made banter signings. They've bought a fairly solid striker and they've bought like Fernals, and they're quite good players that aren't like. So what you'd have expected from West Ham is for them to like absolutely blow money up the wall for who was the like aging mm. striker that was leaving oh I can't remember there was someone that was available that was old and oh like Robin or Rivery like that's the kind of West Ham thing you expect and it would yeah. just fail mm. catastrophically but they've actually no they've gone out and bought that striker from um, I can't remember his name oh not Joe Linton uh, no Joe Linton was the the Frankfurt oh, striker name. that played alongside Jovic oh <laughs> is he is he like six foot seven? Yeah. He's he's a good striker that played alongside Jovic, and he they bought him and he's good. As uh, obviously he might fail, and they bought this, you know, uh, other uh, they bought well. Yeah, that's concerning because that's <laughs> not the West Ham we all know and love. It's all answering out there, and the final point because we we tried to bring this up as much as possible because you know football should be a good place and football often isn't a good place is the fact that mm. I don't know where I stand on this. I don't know what angle I want to take. Do we all know about Malcolm, right? I don't. Do we, all know, do we know about the Malcolm saga? Yeah. Okay, so mm. Malcolm from Barcelona J right. has joined Zenit, right? <laughs> a, mental. This is a man that sacked off Roma, went to Barca, is a fantastic player that... You know, they bought him from Bordeaux. He's brilliant. Don't be going to Russia at the age you are. However, also, don't be going to Russia because it's the most racist league in the world. And in mm. on his debut, um, the Zenit fans put up banners saying, thank you for believing in our tradition, sarcastically, and then backed it up by saying... We, we're not racist, we just believe that the tradition of Zenit is to be playing white players. The fuck, man? Oh, no. <laughs> Zenit is already by... Uh, sorry, Malcolm is already by yeah. far the greatest player that is at Zenit. I'm not going to like it. Oh, that's such a fucking shame instantly. for him. Wow. <laughs> but also... But it's ridiculous, isn't it? Here's, it's... here's the confusing angle I have. Because, yes, the first thing we should be talking about yeah. is... That's ridiculous. He is fucking class and you're looking to have him, Zenit. But the, the one thing that I kind of want to get my head around is if you're Malcolm and that offer gets on the table, yeah. why the yeah, hell, hell are you I actually have... I... Go, if you want money, go to China, go to Qatar, go to um, bloody um, the other one, the, the, the Japan, go somewhere. Where you can earn the money for a league. Yeah, there's like I actually can't see any reason why you might go. <laughs> like I can't see any. That's crazy. Didn't know that. 
Yeah. You know? Oh, you got to say something. I don't know if that would oh, be no, another no. pod. <laughs> See you later, guys. Just this has been the back post. Racism has won. See you later. But that's not that's not my message you want to no. spread. Come on. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. <laughs> there's not much you there's not much you can say about it really. Is it? It's, it's, it, 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 it's an awful, awful situation. And it's and it's it's. Oh no, it's, Jay. It's getting no. It's getting worse. It's getting worse, not just in Russia. Yeah. It's getting worse everywhere. It's it's terrible in Italy at the moment. I just don't understand it. But even I don't know it's why it's happening. In Italy, it's it's minorities in Italy. It's it's a almost built-in foundation of Russia. Like, are you telling me yeah. that no other club wanted Malcolm? Even in, in the pro- Germany, Spain, France. Italy, like in it's, the, so it's so baffling. It's so baffling. Has he not come out with a reason why? or anything? Give us a Look, call. Look, Malcolm, if you are interested on a, on a, on a, on a, on an interview to come and talk yeah. to us, explain. You know, percent mate. Zenith, just give us a bell. We'll that. get you on the pod. We'll get you on the pod. Definitely. And we'll sort everything out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. We need to have a chat with you first. <laughs> like, yeah. We've just got Adam on. Let's not suddenly get Malcolm on. Ironically... The name of my dad. The, re- the one we wanted in. The real MVP. The person we wanted in. <laughs> the <part. laughs> All right. Cool. I think the only other thing I'd written down was the fact that you've ended us letting yeah. Jose King go, but we kind of touched on that anyway. And obviously yeah. they shouldn't have because that, you, yeah. You know what? Um, I, yeah. I mean, partly I'm sorry. He's a bit now. No, yeah, honestly, it's been brilliant. I'm so happy the season's back. I'm so happy yeah. this podcast's um, back. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I work, you know, nine till four in a vegetarian cafe and I, I don't have my uni life anymore and this gives you me have to throw a that in there to again. exist. Um, <laughs> so, well, yeah, I start working next week. So um, it, honestly, um, and Adam, it's been an, it's been Cheers, an absolute Adam. pleasure, you suave bastard. Boys, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm uh, yeah. looking forward right, to Adam, some more videos. Do you know what we normally me? say at the end of our videos? Okay, alright. That's fair. Oh, yeah, I good do good. not. <laughs> I never get yeah, that far. You haven't watched. <laughs> No! That's not fair! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> right, so... Adam, we have a long-serving tradition at the Bat Post here where we believe that you should pass the pod on, but only to one person specifically. So, it's been an absolute pleasure, guys. Tell and remember... Tell your dad. <laughs> Good. I'll definitely tell my dad. <laughs> You are on like speaking terms, right? You're all good with your dad. <laughs> ring him now? Oh yeah, no, we could. Oh, I'll, right, I'll probably ring him now. Good, because I could get all. I could get all. <laughs> <laughs>